Hello po, good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon po sa, sa ating mga viewers po ngayong hapon sa edoktrina nyo. Um, we're so lucky to have this speaker. Um, he is um, a NIRPAD certified educator, a faculty of Olympia High School, Marine Science Honors, and AP Environmental Science in the United States of America. So, thank you, Sir Sir Genesis. Um, wherein he will he will discuss about show and tell online based instructions, and he will share um, the different strategies that he is using in in his classroom. So, without further ado. Let's have Mr. Genesis Agkawili. Um, ayan po, sorry. And hello, Sir Genesis. Hello, Sir Jolan. Good afternoon hello. po. Ayan. Good afternoon po sa lahat. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello so, po sa lahat. So, nakikita po ba kami? Hello? Hello. Ayan. Start na tayo. Ayan. Okay, Sir Genesis. Um, uh -oh. Sir Genesis, thank you so much for, for accepting our invitation this afternoon and to share your expertise and knowledge when it comes to teaching and learning process. Alam ko napakarami mong masishare ngayong araw na ito sa sa ating mga kaguroan sa, sa lalo na sa public schools na mag-start ng kanilang online distance um, learning this August. So, thank you so much for accepting our invitation. Alam ko, sobrang dami mong masishare based on sa mga experiences mo. At you, you are also a Nearpod certified educator, right? Tama ba, Sir, yes. sir Genesis? Thank you, Sir Jordan, for inviting me. Uh, also, you're a Kami certified educator. So, grabe. We're so happy and it's our pleasure to have you this afternoon wherein you're going to to discuss about online-based instructions and sana magamit po ng, ng ating mga viewers at mga nanonood po sa hapon na ito. Thank you so much at maraming maraming salamat Thank for, you so much. for Genesis. Okay, without further ado, let's have Mrs. Julius T. Agkawili. Okay po. Um, good afternoon po sa lahat ng nanonood, nakaantabi sa webinar natin na to. Um, medyo kinakabahan po ako si Tristan ko lang ulit mag, um, magsalita sa mga teachers. Especially, <clears throat> alam natin yung mga teachers kasi medyo nakakakabot na <laughs> very light. Anyway, I am here to share to everyone yung mga best practices na meron ako from my experiences in teaching, especially in teaching distance learning or online learning. Um, also, these are work not only coming from me, but also work coming from my colleagues and other co-faculty from my district, uh, my current district, and also from my administrators. So, hindi po siya solely from me. Um, some of them I um, shared lang din po sa akin na I am fortunate na ma-share ko din po sa inyo and sana po ay magamit din niya sa inyong pagtuturo. Um, so, without any long messages, Pakakayala ko lang po ulit yung sarili ko. I am Genesis Agkawili. Um, before I go here sa United States, ako po ay public school teacher sa SDO Las Piñas for um, eight years. Ano ba? Eight or seven years. 
um, or uh, less students national high school for the school before in the transfer for also less students to national science high school as a senior high school teacher. Anyway, um, ngayon po ako ay nasa Olympia High School. Um, under po siya sa Orange County Public Schools, it's the biggest um, public school in Florida. I am fortunate to teach marine science honors and AP environmental science, which is I am certified for. Also, um, kami po ay, ako po ay isang Neopad Cert, certified educator. That's why Neopad ay isa po sa mga isushare ko po sa inyo ngayong araw. Together, ako din po ay isang kami certified educator. Yan naman po ay isang um, web-based instruction wherein um, pwede kayo magbigay ng budgets for your students, especially during online learning. So, um, marami po ako masishare sa inyo ang pinamagatan ko po siyang show and tell, online-based instructions in the new normal. Ayun. So, start na po tayo. Um, basically, um, ang flow po ng aking talk is I'll just start with a little introduction or rationally on the new normal, the distance learning, online-based learning. So, doon para sa sisimulan and then a little bit of what is this new normal um, thing that we've been calling in our educational system, especially in the Philippines and in the world. Um, also, I will be sharing with you yung mga um, tools in terms of communicating with parents, um, with our administrators, co-teachers, and also with our students. Sila yung pinaka-important factor dito. And also, how are we going to engage our students in or during distance learning. So, ayun po yung ilan sa mga isi-share ko sa inyo. And lastly, ako po, kapag ako ay uma-attend ng seminar, I am always looking forward dun sa mga resources. I need resources. Mga resources na isi-share no ami or na ating speaker. So, I'm gonna share with you some of the resources also, aside from sa mga mention ko. So, if you have time, please go over these resources na isi-share ko at the end. And then, paglaruan nyo po, um, try to check what's, what's in it, um, how can you use it. Kasi wala pong tapon sa education. Lahat as Filipino teachers or as teachers, alam natin pa paano, how, will we, how, are, how are we going to make use of these things sa ating pagtuturo. So, yan po yung sunod-sunod na outline na isi-share ko sa inyo ngayong gabi. Ngayong, um, ah, mali, ngayong tanghali ko dyan sa inyo. So, let's start with the rationale. So, obviously, um, we are shifting from the normal or from the previous type of educational system na meron tayo, which is face-to-face. Um, -face. Um, actually, um, we've been coining this term as the new normal, wherein, in fact, um, alam naman natin lahat na yung <coughs> sorry na yung new normal yan, it's already here okay meron na po talaga tayong distance learning meron na po tayong online education it's just that in this very trying moments ngayon natin siya ino-engage ng todo niyayakap ng todo kasi that's the only sort that we have okay so um basically from that face-to-face -face instruction which we normally do especially in public school setting yung lagi natin ginagawa before we are slowly or not actually not not slowly we are transitioning now into what we call the distance learning i know sir jolan already um discussed with you the distance learning and the online learning so we're we're getting there and we have to be there. You have to be there as teachers. Our students should be there too. Um, and then, one important thing when we are doing this um, online and digital learning is that we have to consider that education triangulate. So what does we mean? Or ano ba yung ibig sabihin natin when we say 
um, this triangulate. As you can see po, yung parents and the teachers, sila yung join together, to together. Um, definitely because we are the skeleton or the backbone for our students. Pero yung tatlong yan, they have to go hand in hand together in terms of this new normal that we've been calling. And that basically means na without the teacher or kapag may pagpukulang si parent, there is a possibility na mag-fail or the student will not succeed. Okay? So that triangulate is very important. And all throughout the presentation, yung triangulate na yan, will always be there and you will know na, okay, you're not alone. You as a teacher, hindi ka alone during this online or distance-based learning. You have the parents' support. That's why the, as, as I saw or as I checked, there are also um, webinars for parents para to prepare them in our new normal in education. And lastly, we have the students they are the very reason why the teachers, why you guys are doing this. Kaya po kayo nandito ngayon sa webinar na to because you wanted to give more. You wanted to provide more sa students natin. Um, and I salute every teachers for that kasi sobra naman talagang um, challenging yung task ng pag-transition natin bigla sa online or digital-based learning. So that's good. And also, in the end, during this transition, you will be able to see yourself in a screen. Okay? We will, we will, we will be in the screen. Our students will be in the screen. There will be um, a very different feeling when you will start the um, class in August, I think, um, in the Philippines. So it's a different environment this time. And we have to cope up with that, we have to embrace the challenge na kasama no um, changes yung pag-shift ng paradigm na to. So, usually, ayan po yung rationale na nakikita ko during this new morning. So, I just want to say, it was a challenging year that we have from last year, especially us here in the United States, kasi like sa amin, after namin ng spring break, Binigyan lang kami ng one, ng one week to prepare and then after a week, pasok agad kami sa online learning. So, grabe po yung pressure and I know sa inyo two months is not enough for us to be ready. And with that, let me continue. What a challenging year we have ahead of us. It's very challenging, um, especially for those teachers na nakasanayan ng magturo ng um, yung normal na nasa classroom, face-to-face, -face and all of that. So, parang sobrang challenge. So, ang laking question mark, you don't know where you're going through. But with you here watching this webinar, I hope na through Edduxens PH ay marami po kayong nakukuha at natututunan sa pamamagitan po ng mga webinars na binibigay sa inyo or even ng DepEd at ng iba't ibang mga publishing um, companies. So, kumbaga, in this moment, kaya tayo po talaga yung magtutulungan. Teachers, we're, we're building up a community to help each other, to carry each other, so that every teacher will be successful. And once the teachers are successful, the students will also be successful. So, since we are talking about the, that change, some of us have to undergo these steps. Kung baga, kung sa pag-move on, di ba, merong iba't ibang mga levels yun. Ganon din po sa nangyayari ngayon sa ating educational system. So, let me present to you the Hubler-Ross change curve kung saan nag-start yun sa shock. Okay? When you have this, but when we all have this pandemic and then nalaman natin na, okay, we're transitioning to digital or pwede tayong face and then digital, face and then digital, you're shocked, you're surprised na parang okay, ano, ba, bago na naman to, gone the days na nagugulat tayo, binagol ng UBB, tapos nagkaroon ng K-12, ngayon, online. 
So, hanggang tayo sa level ng shock. And then, slowly, you will have your denial, so you have your disbelief, especially here in the United States. There are teachers who don't believe in coronavirus, and they are pushing to start the school year this fall and have the students go to the classroom because they are having those disbelief. Okay? Um, so they are looking for evidences that coronavirus isn't true, it's not existing. Sobrang um, hirap isipin, pero may ganun talaga. Um, inisip nila na COVID is not true and we can just go back to normal and teach how we used to be. Because they don't want to accept the challenge. And because of that denial, they will be frustrated. So in that moment, they are recognizing that things are different now. And then sometimes na angry sila. So and then yung frustration na bakit ganito yung nangyayari and then may iba't ibang mga deathed memo or may iba't ibang mga letter from the administrators kung ano yung gagawin nyo sa opening ng classroom. And because of that, since you don't want to embrace this normal, you are getting depressed. So wala ka na energy and all of that. But then as teachers, you have to keep that fire burning. So initially, you, have, you, are, you are engaging. So just like all of us here, or yung mga nanonood ng webinar from different um, providers. So, you are slowly engaging yourself with the new situation. So, that's a good part. Okay, kasi, so, you are slowly getting up this change curve and slowly trying to get this change inside your system. And then we have the decision. So you have learning how to work in the new situation, feeling more positive. So in that moment, so since you're slowly trying to convince yourself that, okay, this is what I have right now, then the next thing is you feel more positive kasi unti-unti mo na siyang matatanggap. And lastly, yun na, nakapag-move on ka na to changes na yan. You are 100% sure na this is it at ano mangyari, it's online, it's digital, or you have your face-to-face -face and then digital, whatever your administration, what, whatever your administrators will tell you, you will have to integrate whatever learning you got from different people, from all the webinars that you attended, or from all the readings or um, learnings that you have from other people to your classroom. And this time, it's not the classroom that we all used to know. So this time, we are confined in a bigger space. Why I'm telling it's a bigger space? Because online learning, it creates a lot of opportunity, but there will still be challenges. So um, as teachers, you have to hold on. We're creating this community to help each other. And... I hope walang walang bibitaw kasi kapag tayo yung sumuko sa self na sa sarili natin, sumusuko na rin sa ating mga bata or sinusukoan na rin natin yung mga bata. So, dahil nga sabi nga po natin, unti-unti na natin tinanggap, in-integrate na natin siya. These are some examples nung nag-check ako sa, sa Twitter. So, marami na positive reviews about Sorry, marami ka mga, mga positive reviews regarding these changes. So, ang yun yung sabi nito ni ma'am, our Filipino teachers are so resilient sa akin swear. That's true. I am actually um, um, hands up sa lahat ng Filipino teachers because alam ko na you have your family. Lahat, hindi po kasi tayo immune sa virus. We are also um, susceptible to that virus but then there you are trying to stretch your whole self to learn something and to, to actually get something so that you have something to provide for your students. And that's really cool. Okay. Um, however, during hindi pa bukalaga, wala pa bukalaga ako sa pinakatapi ko, nag-introduce ka lang ako ng um, online learning. So, during this webinar, these are the things that I want you guys to remember or at least take into consideration. Three questions na pag-isipan po natin before or even before you start the school year, how you will prepare your class, 
this time or this is school year is very different um bago ka makipag-meet sa mga students mo number one how are you going to make your students accountable during online learning accountability is such a big word and it's a very challenging task for teachers to make the students accountable so please participate po natin how am i going to make them accountable kasi it's a challenge kahit nung face to face tayo with the student it's really hard for us to make them accountable for all their actions for all their work in class so that's number one especially now second four is how do you support students who are failing how do you support those students who need special attention how do you support those students who need special or more time or special needs and lastly how are you going to grade your students? So, yun po yung three na questions na at least bago tayo sumabak sa online learning or digital learning sa mga studyante natin, isipin natin, how am I going to do this? If you don't have answer, I give some to you. Well, to start with, you have to check, actually maraming nyo siguro nakakaalam nito sa inyo. So, definitely, you have to reflect on your own what you really wanted to say. And then, what are the students' interests? Kasi lalo na ngayon, sobrang hirap silang gawing accountable, sobrang hirap po ninyo engagement in the lesson or in the topic. Kasi hindi, wala ka dun physically, hindi mo siya mara-redirect or mara-refocus. So, you have to know what are their interests and you have to individualize your lesson. At least individualize your lesson to them para at least makuha mo yung, so, alam mo yung interest nila, dun mo ipapatong yung topic mo, dun mo ipapatong yung modules na ginagawa. And obviously, at the end of the day, the question there is, how relevant the topic is for them? You have to make sure that at the end noon topic mo, they know the relevance of why they have to learn fraction, why they have to learn biology, or why they have to learn arts or PE, why they have to do those things na pinapagawa mo, projects, online projects, videos, photo. Dapat may relevance siya kasi yun yung way para makuha may interest nila. Okay? So, as a whole, nakuha ko lang po ito sa isang slide, and we are guilty sa mga bagay na to, teachers tend to overcompensate. Okay? Second, the face-to-face -face curriculum cannot be automatically migrated to remote learning. So, medyo mahirap po yung transition natin. Pero, because you are here, because you are there, you're trying your best, you're giving your best, this will be successful. And I hope it will be successful. On-screen time should be limited. Um, I think that is where collaboration from every teacher should go. Um, kailangan po eh, hindi mo feel na feel na ikaw lang yung teacher sa mundo. Kasi baka naman bigay ka ng bigay ng hardworking tasks sa estudyante mo. Tapos hindi naman siya, uh, kumbaga, hindi siya ganun ka-relevant. Tapos bigay ka ng bigay para lang mapahirapan sila or para lang nanahimik silang message ka at na nanahimik ka sa couch with the coffee and all of that. So, hindi pwedeng ganon. You have to work with the teachers sa school ninyo, sa mga subject teachers. And you have to agree, okay, um, I'll be doing this and then some teachers should um, give a little bit of time sa ibang students. Tapos, hindi lang laging ikaw. Kumbaga, you have to plan. Huwag yung sabay-sabay kayo nagbigay ng project. Sabay-sabay kayo nagbigay ng online free. Huwag po yung ganon. So, all symptoms should be limited. You have to give them light. They can't be in front of the computer all the time. Number four, um, involvement of the parents. It is very critical. So this time, you need the parents. We, we actually need the parents even during the FOF. But like in this moment, parents' involvement, it's very critical because they are the ones who will be refocusing the students physically. Yes, you can refocus them even though naka a remote learning tayo, but the parents should know or should be aware on how to refocus 
the students back para po nagagawa nila, nasusundan nila kung ano yung dapat ginagawa nila sa klase or sa paalanan. Number five, which I really agree, um, stronger communication and uh, relationship among teachers, parents, and students. Again, that's the triangulate. Um, we have to have that strong communication with the parents, the teachers, and students. I have to mention the administrators, even the non-teaching um, um, staff of the school, uh, the head teachers, the Meganaman assistant teachers, the Mana division office, they are all they are also playing a very relevant role in in implementing this remote learning. Um sobrang halaga ng help nila because they are the providers na information to the teachers. If the, if the teachers were like um, being shaken by what's happening right now, um, siguro yun yung role na magagawa nila. They are also backbone sa mga teachers and also sa mga students. Okay? So communication, which um, I have a little bit of talk about communication later on. Team approach to instructional delivery is necessary. This time, um, alam ko matagal na natin ginagawa to nung nag k to 12 na tayo. Yung makikipag-collaborate si science kay English, si English kay math. So we have to to do the teaching in as a team. Hindi pwedeng, okay, I am, I am a science teacher, ako lang. No. Um, you have to get the whole team, you have to talk and start thinking of instructional delivery, how can you seamlessly deliver the topic? Ganun po dapat. So it's a team approach. You're not the only teacher no student na yun. Huwag mo siyang pahirapan. Kasi yung remote learning pala ang sirap. Okay? And also, feedback ng UJP. Since you are not there, basically, students cannot get the feedback right away. Then you have to do something to give feedback to them para alam nila if they are failing, if they are doing well, or if they need to improve something. Yun po yung mga, ito yung isa sa mga, ito yung mga bagay na dapat i-check natin. Okay? Um, and at the end of the day, these are some of the essential things na students should learn. We have writing, reading, personal management skills, problem solving, and life, um, life skills. We're in the branch yan. Hindi ko po ibig sabihin na writing lang or reading lang. They are branching. And as I told you, it's a team effort. So, yan po yung survival skills or yung mga essentials na dapat nagutunan ng bata where you have to guide or at least you have to um, go towards the survival skills. Again, babay kayo sa word na relevance. Now, um, since we are talking about um, the approach to instructional delivery is necessary. These two words, I think, are very important when it comes to remote learning. We have the compassion versus common sense. When our teachers should be compassionate to the students and when they need to use their common sense. So it's a very strong word. These words are very important in terms of this educational system right now. Kasi nga, siyempre, iisipin mga teacher, should I just be compassionate to my student? Eh, what if wala naman natutunan yung bata? You should give him A. Siyempre, dun pa pa, so kailangan mong tignan. Ano ba yung ginawa mo as a teacher? Which is usually, yun naman yung sinasabi ng mga administrators, principal, or ng yung head teacher. So, what do, what do I mean when, it, when I say, this time, you have to be compassionate and you have to use your common sense. First, let me be clear that when I say compassion and common sense, I am not advocating giving all students an A for a passing grade. Hindi po yung yung gusto kong mangyari. What I am after or what I am advocating right now is that you have to give students an additional opportunity. You have to give them second try, third try, fourth try, because they're not there. You don't know what they're struggling for. You don't know what's happening with them. You don't know if the parents are there and helping them. 
That is why you as a teacher, kailangan mo ka mag-give up sa bata. When you know that the student is failing, you have to give them the opportunity to, to actually get back dun sa needs mo from them or sa skills na hinahanap mo from them. So, that is compassion and common sense at the same time. So, as a teacher, you are giving them an additional opportunity that is compassion. And that is also common sense because you're not just giving him or the student an A or a passing remark just because you are in remote learning. No, because if that's the case, what will happen to these students kapag remodel sila? Okay? So, yan po yung ibig kong sabihin ng compassion and common sense. So how are we going to do that? Number one, connection with the parents, the triangulate, is very important. <clears throat> I have here two things na um, masasuggest ko sa inyo, nagagawin niyo during your um, remote learning. Number one, create a daily announcement that lets your students know what needs to be worked on or what needs to be done. Ano po ibig sabihin nga? If you are using Google classroom um, if or if you're using any other kind of learning management systems and then yung, um, google classroom and then yung, what else um edmodo and then yung tama ba and then yung canvas so ayun yung mga bagay na pwede mo gawin din or learning management system or kahit Facebook nga lang, kung may Facebook group kayo, pwede rin yun. So, actually, you have to make an announcement for teacher notes sa estudyante. Okay, for this week or for this day, these are the things that you have to expect. So, at least the students know kung ano ba yung hahanapin mo sa kanila at the end of the week. So, how to be creative when it comes to making these announcements? You can be there yourself. But in, instead of like having the teacher notes, may caption ka ng teacher notes, and then you have the video para at least may connection. Alam niyo po yung, kumbaga, kasi wala na physical connection eh. At least, the school, some of our students, or most of our students are going to our, are going to the school to see you because they are inspired by you because they wanted to see you, actually. Yun po yung gusto So, be yourself parang nagsasalita ka, giving them what they need to know and what they need to expect. So, isang creative way and and trust me, it will create a positive environment sa inyong classroom. Second, <clears throat> when you're doing that, offer words of encouragement to our students because if nahihirapan po tayo mga teachers, we are already adults, nahihirapan din yung mga students. And sobra po yung paghihirap nila. Lalo na kapag meron kayong teacher na hindi man lang makipag-tintip sa inyo or makikulong sa inyo. So at least offer words of encouragement to the students. Tips, um, ways to earn extra points. Again, compassion and common sense. And even announce the birthdays. That is trying to... Um, sorry, <laughs> ang bilis na po magsalita. Um, yung pag nagbibigay ka ng or inaanap yung birthday naggagawa nagte-create ka ng uh what do you call this ng connection with them so at least mas nagiging personal which is ganun naman tayo as teachers we are very um, accommodating to our students so these are ways on how to connect with them now let's go to the big word which is accountability when it comes to accountability meron po ako diyan um, four things na kailangan natin ma-remember. We have to make the students accountable during video conferencing, which is what we are going to do now for in this coming school year. Second, we have to make them accountable with all their online work or even with their work kapag kayo po ay may face-to-face -face plus um, online. Third is they have to be, they need to feel accountable when it comes to participating and connecting with you and lastly um we have to make them accountable in any activities in any test na ibibigay natin sa kanila so medyo mahirap ngayon tayo magpa-exam ng 
exams na ginagawa natin before. So, this is kind of different. Okay? So, first thing to make them accountable is that at least we have to make sure that we are checking their attendance every day and we are tracking our students. Um, sobrang halaga na malaman mo yung attendance ng estudyante every day. Basically because through that attendance, alam mo yung estudyante mo. Alam mo kung sino yung nagsifail. Alam mo sino yung kailangan mong bigyan ng special attention. Alam natin kung sino yung dapat bigyan natin ng special needs. And also, you have to track the progress of your students because since wala tayo physically, you have to give them feedback. You have to give them their um, standing in the classroom. Kasi kapag hindi mo ginawa yung tracking and pag-check ng attendance, ang hirap niyan. Let's say for example, hindi mo na malayan na meron ka palang isa or dalawang estudyante na never or twice or once lang pala umatin na klase, hindi mo alam what is happening with that student. Maybe meron siyang problem sa house or invest na pinag-online learning siya ng mama niya, pinagpitinda siya ng pinapa or pinagluluto siya, pinagbabantay siya sa sari store ng tindahan kasi nga wala tayong pera. So, way yon para malaman mo or maging aware ka who are your students. So, isa po yun sa mga kailangan natin gawin. We have to monitor our students. We have to track the progress of our students. But at the end, hindi mo, hindi mo lang alagay doon yung sales. Hindi mo lang alagay doon 74 or 73. No. Kasi at the end, tatanungin ka, what are the things that, you, that, that you've done to help this student failing na pala siya? Again, compassionate and common sense. So, yun po, ganun po kahalaga yung attendance. So, what are the ways? Sorry po, ah. So, what are the ways that we can do to check the attendance and check our students? Number one, which we all know is yung tatawa ating Google form. So, here sa inyong left, Nakita niyo po dyan yung example ng isang Google Form. So sa akin, I have to get their attendance. I have their name. Yung period po, parang ayan po yung section dyan sa Philippines. So the drug down nila yan. Ah, sorry. The drug down nila yan. Um, ano yung section na, na belong sila and then yung date. Okay? On the other hand, so we can be very creative. We can be very creative in terms of of checking the attendance of the students or in terms of tracking them. Para hindi na nun masyadong boring kasi online na nga lang tapos sobrang bored pa ng way ng ginagawa natin. So we have Padlet. I know there's a lot of you who are already familiar with Padlet. So example lang po ito sa akin. For example, pwede kayong may Padlet every day and then you just um, flash one question na hindi naman ganun kahirap. Huwag mo siya maghirapin ba't ito nga tignan mo ha. Sabi ko ito, what are the things you know about water? Sagot na ng bata, water is wet. At least alam ko nandun yung bata noong araw yun. At least alam mo nag-participate siya noong araw yun. You can give this as a point para at least um, meron silang tinitignan lagi. Meron silang nililook forward na wala ano na naman kaya yung next question ni sir. Or pwede kang, pwede kang maging creative sa question mo. Anong ulam ni today? Um, post a photo nung inulam mo ng tanghalian. Parang ganun. Or pwede kang bigyan ng hugot ang salitang ito. ba? Para creative ka. Kasi ang gusto mo dito, malaman mo lang yung attendance ng bata. Alam mong nandun yung bata during that day. Okay? So, ito po, hindi natin, ito po, ay sinishare ko lang sa Padlet, pwede mo siyang gamitin on way to get the attendance of the student or a way to get the, or track the students if they're always going to your class. Since most of the time, magiging online yung learning or yung teaching natin. So, yun po yung mga pwede yung gawin in terms of that. I will not go over Padlet. I will not go over... 
Google Forms kasi sure naman ako na maraming gumagamit sa atin. I wanna use most of my time in sharing with you um, other online-based instructions and applications. So when it comes to distance learning, marami po tayong options. I know na yung iba sa inyo, eh, sa sobrang dami ng webinar, baka mas marami pa po kayong ma-share sa akin. So, pag nag-check kayo sa internet, pag nag-check kayo sa Google, ang daming teachers ngayon, naging YouTuber na. Naging mga vlogger na sila. <laughs> Ayan po. So, pero we are very happy that they are there. They are giving their insights. They are giving their, they are giving their knowledge to us, teachers, on what we can do for in preparation of the op opening of the school year opening of the school year so ayan meron tayo diyang best websites for distance learning and most of them i think alam niyo na po silang gamitin um meron tayong google classroom easy tutorial that's from my friend and another friend here how he survived distance learning here in usa ayan po so marami tayong sources Tulad na EduTrends. So, there are a lot of apps that we can use. Kung before, chalk or pencil pen or whiteboard marker yung hawak-hawak natin, we have these applications now. And that basically means that slowly or seamlessly, we are changing our paradigms in terms of education. Education doesn't always mean or teaching doesn't always confine in a classroom. Marami po tayong forms of classroom. And kung titignan mo siya, it's vast. There's a lot of definition of what classroom is. So, ito, ito po yung ilan sa mga applications na pwede natin gamitin. And I'll be using, or I'll be showing you some of them. So, to start with our distance learning, I know we have Google Hangouts. We also have other forms na ginagamit natin. But let me share you yung... Um, ako, personal favorite ko siya, which is Big Blue Button, and yung Zoom. However, I tried to um, compare them, or what's the difference between the, with, between both of them? Although, um, disclaimer lang, feeling ko, itong mga nilagay ko dito ay hindi na ganun ka tama ngayon. Kasi I think Zoom tried to change their um, algorithm or system, and hindi na siya ganon ka week in terms of big blue button. Parang lumaban din naman si Zoom. So he can offer um, many things too. Wait lang po. Pasensya na po kayo. Sabi ko first time ko lang ulit magsalita. Yes. So, kung tatanungin nyo ako kung free si big blue button, yes, yes, yes. So, kapag yung teachers ninyo hindi nanood ng Eduk Trends at nanood ka, pagdating mo ng online learning, sabihin mo sa kanila, Oh my God, I have big blue button. Lahat sila nag-Google Hangouts. Lahat sila nag-Zoom. And you're in big blue button. Iba. So, that is something new for everyone. And siya po ay open source. Free. mag in lang po kayo. And I'm gonna teach you how you are going to do that. Now, so, punta po tayo sa ating tutorial. Wait lang po. Okay. So, sa amin kasing... Ay, sorry naman. Sa amin pong system, we have... This is the big blue button. Pero, let me teach you first how you are going to um, create your own profile in big blue button. Uh, let me share. Saglit lang po. Uh, Isishare ko lang yung screen. Ano ba ito share? Mm -hmm. Wait lang po. So, mag-share screen tayo. Pero, ito na. Yes, here. So, the next po na gagawin is magkakreate tayo ng ating big blue button. So, pupunta ka sa kanilang website. Nandun po yun sa aking... Um, nandun po sa aking PowerPoint yung um, website for Big Blue Button. Yeah. So here, you have to sign up. Pag new user ka. Nakikita ba siya? 
Makikita po ba? Parang hindi siya nakikita. Wait lang po ah. Hindi ko lang pa paano gagawin eh. One moment. Share screen. Uh, application window. Big blue button. Share. Okay. Wait lang po. Okay. Sorry. So. Then, kasi hindi po siya gumagana sa Safari pala. So, kailangan ko siyang share screen using Google Chrome. Okay. okay. Sana mag-work siya. Wait lang po. Check lang natin. Kung nag-work. Mm -hmm. Wait lang. Ba't ayaw? Sir Jolan. Ay, Sir Genesis, Sir Genesis, oh. apat ah, share naman ng screen mo, nawala po yung screen. Hindi ko po, hindi ko po siya masyado. Mahirapan ako, Sir. Sir, ang sinishare ko na Wait. yung yung mismo ano na, website. Sir, yung ito yung mga bus. Oo. Ano bang gagawin, Sir? Sorry po. Sige, anyway, okay lang po yan, no? Maybe we can they they can try it and search it na lang on how to do it um teachers no sorry <laughs> so pwedeng gawin na lang nila no kung uy wait lang pwedeng... sino naman oh kaso kasi share share screen mo na lang diyan sir may share screen po diyan sir uh, sir tapos application window okay ah ito na ito na ito na check mo nga. Yes. Ano na? Masi-share niyo ba? Okay. Masi-share niyo? Okay. So, talaga ito, um, teacher. Nakikita yes. na po siya. Nakikita na ba natin, mga, mga teachers? Ayan. Ad Ayan. Okay. Ayan yes, po. yes kita na, Sir, sir Genesis. Okay. Sorry po. So, ayan. Oo, uh, salamat. Sorry po. Apasensya na po. <laughs> so, button. po kayo. Okay. So, uh, sign in ko lang. Okay lang po ah. So, ngayon po, um, papakata ko lang siya kasi sa amin, meron na kaming um, system for big blue button. Hindi nyo po siya kailangan ganun. Pwede lang po kayong mag big blue button on your own. So, pag, nasa, pag nakapag sign up na po kayo, ito na po yung mga makikita ninyo sa inyong screen. Wait. Okay, kailangan pala siya laging share. Share screen. Chrome tab, big blue button. Okay. So, ito po yung may kita ninyo sa inyong screen. So, um, may kita ninyo personalized Google. Sir Genesis, Manage. pwede ka mag, um, pwede ka mag share, uh, share your entire screen, Sir Genesis. Share para, your entire screen. Um, yan. Wait. Uh -oh. Yes, sir. Thank you. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Okay, gets ko na. Sorry. Sorry po. Okay. Okay lang yan. Kasama talaga sa live natin yan. Thank you. Live po to live. <laughs> yes. So, yung mga teachers dyan, no? So, alam nyo may experience nyo rin yung mga ganyang bagay. Um, sure, na Nakashare na talaga yung instance learning. Ayan, yes, nakashare na. Ayan, nakikita okay. nila yung screen mo. Okay. Yung miss. Ayan, okay. okay. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Makapag nakapag-sign in na po kayo sa big blue button, may kita nyo pa yung personal rooms. Ito po lahat yan. Isa-sign in ko lang po yung akin kasi para masaya. Para makita nyo po paano siya. So, kapag nakapag-sign in na kayo, ayun, para kayo ninyo, gagawa po kayo ng ibang rooms. So, for example, meron kang home room, a home room, ayan yung parang kung meron po kayong, sa amin sa mga teachers yan. 
ito gawa-gawa ko lang po yung Edu Trends. Ito yung sa Marine Science class ko. Ito po yung sa Environmental Science class ko. And you can create kahit ilang rooms po yung gusto ninyong gawin. Okay, may mga friends kayo, gusto yung magkaraoke. Pwede po yan. Or kung ano pong, basta po, bahala po kayo gumamit. Parang zoom lang din po siya. Tapos sobrang ganda niya. So, example, i-click mo lang kung anong room yung gusto mo. Lala, mag, mag-change po yung link dito. And yung copy example, yung marine science room, copy lang. So, paano po punta dyan yung student? Isisend mo lang po ito sa kanila. And then, kung pupuntahan niyo siya dito, may kita ng mga estudyante yung um, uh, personalized room, magsasign in sila, or kapag binigay niyo lang po yung link ninyo, dadiretsyo na po sila sa Dederecho na po siya ngayon doon sa inyong room. So, let's say, gusto ko yung EduTrends. Kinapi ko siya, isa-send mo siya doon sa Google Classroom ninyo. Wala pong bayad yung big blue button. Libre po siya, parang zoom din po siya. Pero, ito po, papakita ko sa inyo yung pinaka-platform. Wait lang. Dito, pwede mong kontrolin agad yung mga bata. Para pag pumasok sila, baka kasi may, may nag-aaway pang magulang doon sa likod sa background nila, o kaya um, may aso pa or manok na tumutunog-tunog na nagtitila-tilaok dyan, makokontrol mo agad. So, ikaw, makokontrol mo rin yung sarili mo. Siyempre, magma-microphone tayo. Tapos sa mga so, students mo, pwede rin. Pwede rin. You are now you are currently the only person so, in this conference. ngayon, paano natin kukontrolin yung sa mga students natin? Um, wait lang po. Siya na mabuti. So, example is, um, kung ito, um, pwede ka makipag-chat sa studyante mo dito, just like in Zoom, webcams, audio, may emojis, breakout rooms, so pwede mo silang i-grupo. Okay? So, inside this big, big blue button, pwede kang magpa-jigsaw puzzle. Okay, this group will work on this room. Ibi-breakout mo po sila. I'm, I'm gonna show you that later. Pwede kang mag-pull question. So, pwede kang mag- Um, uh, on the spot na magtanungan ka sa mga estudyante or you can ask them whatever they, they whatever you want. Um, screen sharing also. And meron din po tayong multi-user whiteboard. So para ka nagpa-quiz B. Kung gusto mo, kung ayaw mo magpakahoot, gusto mo na meron kang notebook dyan, babasahin mo, what is the And then meron silang kanya-kanyang whiteboard. Susulatin nila yung letter nila sa whiteboard. Pwede nyo pong gawin yan dito sa big blue button. So, sample na natin. Um, ano ba? So, example, ito, ikaw muna na teacher. So, pwede ka dyang magsususulat. Hello, um, kung ano man yung gusto mong ituro, pwede mo dyan sulatin. Maganda to lalo kapag yung, um, yung laptop mo ay, yes po, lahat ng rooms ay free. Basa ko lang po. So, pwede mo dyang sulatin. Para ka talaga nagtuturo. So, nakikita ka nila, nagtuturo ka din for, to, to them. So, pwede mo naman po kasing i-open yung video mo. Pwede ka rin po mag-share ng screen mo, PowerPoint mo, just like in Zoom. But let me show you yung ibang pwedeng gawin ng Zoom. So, katulad nito, um, bibigyan mo ngayon ng whiteboard yung bawat isa. Lalabas yun ngayon sa Um, iba't ibang students. Sa akin po, hindi siya labas kasi ako lang po mag-isa ngayon dito. Loner po tayo ngayon. So, pero usually, kapag nag-multi-user whiteboard ka, lalabas po lahat ng estudyante mo dyan. Parang zoom din po siya. Tapos, pwede kang magsalita dyan or sabi mo, okay, um, draw this one. Yes po, pwede po siyang invite. Sorry, may nakatala pa akong question. Pwede ko, pwede, in, invitational din po. So, again, So, pag nag, dito po muna tayo, sa multi-whiteboard, um, pag ginawa mo po yan, lal, magkaka-multi-whiteboard po lahat ng estudyante. And then, you can ask questions, and then they can write their answers on that multi-whiteboard. So, bago po yan. Pwede mo rin i-record, tulad ng sa Zoom. And then, what I like here is yung shared notes. So, if si teacher ay mas marami pa rin talaga siyang gustong i-share, So, pwede mo ditong isulat yung mga important terms or mga important um, 
pointers na kailangang maintindihan ng estudyante. So, lahat ng sinusulat niya po dyan, lahat po yan lalabas sa estudyante and madadownload nila. Okay? And then, you also have the public chat sa estudyante or sa kanila. Uh, meron pa po yan. So, ayan, pwede nila i-save, copy, clear. Yan. Next, um, isa pa pong maganda, um, start poll. So, pipili ka muna ng option. Um, gusto bang yes or no lang, true or false, may A, B, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, or A, B, C, D, E. So, pipili ka. Pwede mo rin po siyang i-customize. And then, you have your questions. Ngayon, lalabas yung lahat ng estudyante mag, uh, sa, sa board nila, doon po sila pipili ng, ng sagot nila. Ganun po yung um, polling dito sa BBB. Another, you can upload a presentation if you want to show to your student and kasi syempre, ang gusto mo, makinig ka muna sa akin bago ko sa'yo isi-share yung PowerPoint ko. So, Browse mo lang, upload mo dyan, tsaka nila kukunin yung PowerPoint mo. So, parang nasa normal classroom ka rin po talaga. And then, um, share an external video. So, example, parang kang nasa classroom, and then, while you are inside the classroom, gusto mo muna magpa-video presentation. Siyempre naman, yun yung ibang ginagawa natin. Ako, ginagawa ko yun. Ay, may pa-video presentation ako. After noon, may question, kagagamitin mo yung poll. Example, meron kang YouTube video about um, pag, pagdating ni Magellan. So, magbibigay ka ng poll question ngayon. Pwede mong i-customize yung poll question. Natuwa ka ba noong dumating si Magellan sa Pilipinas? Yes or no? Eh, meron ka ngayong pang, pangganyak sa estudyante mo bago mo introduce yung lesson mo. So, sana po may nakukuha kayo, no? Um, may tanong po ito, ilan ang maximum na students? Ang alam ko po ay 150. Hindi ko lang alam kung binago na po nila ngayon. Okay? So, that is Zoom. Ah, no. That is BBB. So, sana magustuhan niyo po ang BBB natin. Balik po tayo sa PowerPoint ko. So, that is your big blue button. Um, next po is we have Nearpad. So, this time, um, alam ko po kasi na sa Philippines ngayon ay, wait lang po ah, magkasagot lang ako ng ilan. 150 students per room, yes. 150 students per you, per room. Free. Um, pwedeng mag-copy, paste, and edit yung summative test yun sa big blue button. Ah, ano po ibig sabihin dyan? Hindi ko po maintindihan. Paulit na lang po ng question. Okay, punta po tayo kay Nearpad. Si Nearpad ay para po siyang interactive SIM. Kung yung iba po ay, kung kayo po ay familiar sa SIM or strategic intervention materials, sobrang magugusta niyo po ito. Sobrang dali. Hindi na po kayo mahihirapan. I'm gonna share you what is Nearpad. Okay, sorry. So, si Nearpad, um, number one na gustong gusto ko sa kanya is pwede siyang i-download ng students on iOS and Android. Hello, Nori. Um, so, pag na-download ng students yan, they don't really need a laptop or di nila kailangan ng desktop. One thing po is, pwede po siya hanggang kinder. Gusto ko po kasi talagang ma-touch down yung elementary, middle school, high school, senior high school, na pwede niyo po itong gamitin, not only science, not only math teachers, not only the higher level teachers, lahat po pwedeng gamitin si Nearpad. Promise. I'm gonna show you po kung gano'n ka beautiful si Nearpad. So, sabi nga po nito ni Momo, I love you, I love Nearpad. It's so interactive. This is awesome. I love all the resources I've used on Nearpad and enjoy. One thing po about Nearpad is that sobrang dinagdagan po nila yung mga features nila habang um habang merong coronavirus pandemic. Ang dami po nila dinagdag. Especially language teachers, English teachers, you will love this. Mark my word. You will love this. Hindi po ako binigyan ng nearpad, pero magugustuhan niyo po ito. Na-excite po akong i-share siya sa inyo. Uh, may tanong lang, hanggang ilang 40 minutes? Alam ko po an hour, 50 to, um, 50 to, One hour. Um, Sir Rizal Di Medina, hello. Uh, free po. Lahat po nang share ko dito sa inyo. 
free. Walang babayaran, ni pisong kuseng, wala pa kang ilalabas teachers. Okay? So, punta po tayo kay Nearpad, sana gumana siya. Sa indali lang. Um, balik lang ako. Um, ganun lang po ulit, puntahan niyo lang po yung Nearpad. Ako po kasi ginagamit ko lang po yung aming um, sign-in button sa sa aming district. Pero I'm gonna show you, punta kayo kay nearpad.com ito po yung may kita ninyo. Yan. So, meron tayong Nearpad for Students, Nearpad for Teachers, and Nearpad for Administrators. ba? Diba? I told you, Nearpad is super nice po talaga. Pwede siya sa lahat ng levels. Nagkita niyo po yung mga bagets dyan sa video. Babies, elementary, sa cellphone ni mama at ni papa, pwedeng gamitin si Nearpad. Yes, super interactive po yan, Ma'am Marilu. Um, so, pwede siya sa kinder, pwede siya sa elementary, pwede siya sa middle school, high school, hanggang pwede rin po siya sa senior high school, kahit college pwede. Promise, I'm gonna show you. Wait lang po talaga. So, pag students enter the code, kayo po yung magbibigay ng code. I'm gonna show you later. I'm gonna show you yung um, how it looks like sa student at saka sa teachers. And then, administrators. Um, actually, marami pa po siyang additional kapag magbabayad kayo. Pero yung um, yung free version po niya, wala na po akong masabi. Sobrang bet na po yun. So, sign up po kayo for free. Yan po, okay na kita po natin. So, ako po ay magsasign in using my um, district account. Ay, ano ba yan? Wait lang po ah. Sign in lang po ako. Sorry po. <clears throat> Yan. Nagre-redirect na po siya. Sorry po. Okay. So, kapag nakapagawa na po kayo ng inyong Nearpad, let me show you first ano po yung mga makikita ninyo sa system ng Nearpad. Pwede po siyang gamitin ng yes sa cellphone lang. Yes po, pwede. Android and um, Android and iOS. Pwede po siya. So, ipapakita ko po muna sa inyo. Ito po, yung mga nakikita ninyo dito sa akin, ayan po lahat ng sarili kong gawa or dinownload ko at inedit ko po. Yan po yung library ninyo. Meron po dito, since ako po ay naka-district user, meron po akong dagdag na school library and district library. Ito po yung from our school and sa district namin kasi bumili kami. Kapag kayo po ay gumawa ng sarili nyo lang na account, ito lang po yung magigitan nyo, Nearpad Lesson Library, which is sobrang dami nyo na po magagamit. Let's go. Click nyo po yung Near, Nearpad Lesson Library. I'm telling you, this is super duper mega interactive. <laughs> Pwede po kayo mag-VR sa inyong Nearpad. So, kapag yung mga estudyante nyo po ay Ma'am Marge, ano po yung silver user? Saan, saan nyo po nakita yun? Um, pag yung bata nyo po ay mahilig sa mga pan, pa, pa, pa virtual reality, pwedeng pwede po. So, let me run you down. Sabi ko sa inyo, hindi lang science yung tuturo ko kahit science teacher po ako. Hindi po tayo science lang. Kailangan matutunong marami po teachers na makakuha ng kaalaman dito. Meron dito, <clears throat> syempre may pang teacher, may ELA, language, um, science, social studies, life skills, which we're talking about. Sabi ko nga po sa inyo, life skills, kailangan relevant, financial literacy, so yung mga schools na business high schools, world languages, technology, and health. Sobrang dami, and alam ko meron dyang math and fine arts, yes. So, sobrang dami niyo pong makukuha dyan. Let's try um, science. Siyempre, science teacher tayo. <laughs> tayo sa science pala at least medyo gamay po natin yung ginagawa natin. Ngayon, nakita niyo po lahat ng um, branches ng science. Yung, siyempre, basic. We have earth science, life science, and biology, physical science, physics, environmental science, and science VR. Um, ang alam ko sa physical science, nandiyan na rin po yung chem. Okay? So, by, bilang biology teacher po tayo, go to life science, 
<clears throat> I'm gonna teach you po muna kung ano yan. Sabi ko sa inyo, pwedeng gamitin ito ng kahit sino. Kinder, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 to grade 5, grade 6 to grade 8, grade 9 to 12. Diba? Wala na po kayo hihilingin. Click lang po kayo dyan. Kunyari gusto nyo po pang grade 3 and 5. Ay, napakadami na po. Pili na po kayo dyan. Now, papanin nyo po siya aangkinin. Yun yung term natin. Click nyo po tong arrow na to. Or pwede nyo muna i-preview kasi baka hindi nyo naman po gusto. So, i-click nyo lang po siya. Pwede nyo i-click nyo yung buo. And then, add to my library. Okay? So, madadownload yan. Click nyo po, lesson successfully added. We can preview that one here. Or you can go back to your library. And then that is where you can see your um, Nearpod. Now, um, pwede nyo pong i-edit yan, but let me show you two things. Sa Nearpod po, pwede live lesson, pwede din po kayong student base. Okay? So, let me introduce you sa Nearpod. Um, sige, mag-live lesson tayo. Ibig, uh, i-explain ko po sa inyo maya-maya. Kung gusto nyo pong i-try yung Nearpod, Punta lang po kayo doon sa nearpad.com and then lagay nyo po tong link na to para makipag-interact po kayo sa akin presentation. I'll give you one minute para po kung gusto nyo lang naman pong makipag-interact at matry yung meron sa nearpad. Hindi po. Punta lang po kayo nearpad.com and then you have this one. So, while waiting sa mga gusto pong maki-nearpad sa akin kung meron man, pwede nyo po siyang i-share through email sa inyong mga students. Pwede nyo po siyang um, sa social media, Facebook, Twitter, link to students, Google Classroom, Remind, which I will be talking later on. Kaya yeah, meron na pong isa, no? Um, Microsoft Teams, pwede po. So, para sobrang dali nyo lang po siyang share sa mga estudyante ninyo. Ayan, meron lang po akong isa. So, isa lang pala yung gusto makapag-interact. Ay, dalawa na po sila. Sige po, inog lang ako water. Okay. Hi, Sir Mel. Ayan, may apat na po. Siguro pwede na yan. So, naku po phone po gamit ko ngayon. Ma'am, pwede mong i-download yung <coughs> Nearpod sa cellphone nyo. And then, once you're in your phone, uh, ilagay mo lang po yung link na to. You will be the student po muna. Okay? So, start na ako. Meron akong eight students dyan. Hello po sa inyong lahat. And, yeah. Tignan niyo po yung, um, itignan niyo po yung surface niya. Ito, may kita yung students mo. So, matitcheck mo ilan yung batang nandun sa araw na yun. That's one way of checking your attendance. Number of slides. You can also hide the name of the students. Kung ayaw niyo pong malaman or makita yung mga pangalan nila while they are answering in real time. So, i-hide na lang po natin yung mga pangalan. Now, let's go. So, share ko po sa si Nearpod. Ay, sorry naman. Huwag na po yan. Kasi ginamit ko po sa iba. Ah, hello sa mga teachers na nandyan. So, how comfortable do you feel with, with, with Nearpad? So, mag-choose ng answer yung mga students dyan. So, in real time, may kita mo po yung sagot ng mga bata. Okay? So, hello kay Ma'am Marjorie Naris, kay Ma'am Shirley... Ano ba ito? Ma'am Shirley Alambra ba ito? Yan. So, makita niyo po real time. So, kumbaga, pwede, ka, pwede mo siyang gamiting... Um, pagganyak. Nakalimutan ko yung English name ng pagganyak. Um, pagganyak sa mga bata or para lo, leveling of expectation sa, studa, sa estudyante mo. ba po? So, leveling of, of expectations, alam mo kung saan ka mag-start. Para kung advance naman pala yung group, why you have to start from a Shirley Moreno? So, why you have to start from the very basic, kung medyo, kung fr from motivation, thank you Sir Rizaldi. So, doon makikita mo na agad, dito pa lang. Okay? So, hello Beam. <laughs> so, ayan na po. Wait lang po ah. So, ayan yung isang way. Next. Marami pa po to. So, wag na yan. Kasi ginamit ko po to sa iba. So, what do you want to know about Nearpad today? Another, ito pa yung mga, pinapakita ko lang po sa iba't iba mga 
practice na pwede ninyong gamitin. Move na po tayo, wag na po sagutan yan. So, it's a classroom tool. Ito yung mga may kita nyo po, you have the My Library, you have the Explore, you have Join, Create, Reports. Um, one super duper mega, mega, mega nice na meron po kayo kay Nearpad is that at the end, you will gather a report from the student. It's either points or this or essay, depende po dun sa binigay ninyo or how many points they um, got it correct sa inyong ginawa. So again, na, nakuha mo po yung point na, ay, ito po yung code mama sa taas. So again, makita mo po ngayon doon yung uh, feedbacking sa estudyante real time. Di ba? Ang ganda. Kasi after po ng lesson ninyo, at the end of the lesson, you have the generated report in Excel. Ganun po kaganda si Nearpod. Sana po may natututunan po yung 244 na nanonood sa akin. Yan. Dalawang mode po yung Nearpod. Pwede mo siyang gawing modular approach wherein the students can do it on their own, student pace, ibig sabihin, bahala po sila. Pipindutin mo lang po yung student pace. Or yung ginagawa po natin today is live lesson code. So, ako po yung kumakontrol. Never magagalaw ni student yan kung ayaw ko po siyang ipagalaw sa kanya. So, kontrolado mo yung bata. Nare-redirect mo yung bata. Diba po? Live lesson and student pace. Next. <clears throat> so, dito po sa Nearpad, you can download tulad nung pinakita ko po sa inyo kanina or pwede rin naman pong kayo mismo yung gumawa which is eh, there are endless of opportunity na pwede ninyong gawin while doing that. You can do it um, kung kailan nyo po gusto. Okay? Even in your cell phone while you are in vacation, nasa Boracay kayo, nasa nasa Kamsur kayo or Siargao, pwede po. Okay? Basta may internet. And then, pwede rin siyang parang slideshow, which is very boring. Bakit mag-slideshow ka lang? Pwede kang magdagdag ng iba't ibang content, which is I'm gonna show you po. Ah, yung code po na dito po sa taas. Kung na, ayan po, ayan, ayan, ayan yung code. Next. Um, nako, parang ang haba ko na. Ah, next po, move tayo. May, yan. So, ito po yung mga ad content. Pwede kayong mag-slides. Pwede kayong mag-nearpad 3D. Mag Pwede po kayong mag-fet simulation. Ito po ay hindi updated. Uh, I'm gonna show you later ano pa po yung mga pwede nyo gawin. So, ang daming pwede gawin. Example, ito po yung, yung 3D. Pwede nyo ipa-3D yung ano bang, ban, ano bang planeta to. Paikot mo sa estudyante. O, ano napapansin niyo dyan? Ano kayo sa tingin nyo itong dark spots na to? Or bakit mayroong white spot dito? 3D. Pwede po, ma'am. Wait lang. May, pwede rin po tong ilab. One moment, ma'am. <laughs> Ayan. So, ngayon, may, meron kang pa fill in the blanks. Ito po yung FET simulation. So, pwede kang magpalab sa kanila. Pero meron pa pong mas bonggang inad sila dito. So, yung bata, actually, pwede niyang paglaruan. Ito, science po ito. So, kung ano man po yung math. Actually, math. Math siya. So, kasi area and perimeter... So, sa mga math teachers po dyan, pwedeng-pwede po. At sabi ko po sa inyo, hanggat kaya ko pong i-share na pang malawakan tong webinar na to, gagawin po natin yung best natin. Gawa po kayo ng ganyan. Kung ano man po yung gustong gawin ng estudyante, hindi ko pa alam kung ano yung perimeter, perimeter na yan. Pero, yan. So, and then, ah, alam ko ito yung medyo may pa-equation po sila dyan. And then, meron ka dito Scientific calculator, hindi na kailangan ng bata bumili ng scientific calculator kasi you have it here. Um, hindi ko pa alam kung ano ba to trigonometry po ba to or algebra. Yan, so pwede rin po yan. Um, paglaroan nyo po, math teacher sa basta add lang po ako ng add ng mga pwede. Um, this one is field trip. Siyempre, hindi porket nasa, hindi porket naka stay at home tayo, hindi tayo pwede mga bus. We're going on a field trip. You can make it, you can make this one as a um, nearpod vir virtual reality. So, if your students have the virtual something, ganda. Promise. And then you can control saan kayo pupunta. Example, ito ay, I think this one is in New York. So, enter VR. So, sabi mo sa siya, oh, wear your VR goggles. So, mag-VR kayo ngayon and then 
and check the surroundings yan so sabi mo sa kanila oh make sure you check everything you have uh, you have your observations with you remember yan mga yan sino man nakikita ninyo and all of that afternoon you can have i think you po ma'am Aida afternoon Lagi mo ngayon dyan, select the things that you can do in NYC. So, ngayon, so from that, pipili ngayon yung mga bata. Ano po ang gusto nila? And pwede ka magbigay ng timer. In that way, you are getting back those students na medyo nawala sa sarili. Balik ngayon sila kasi may timer. Mag magot sila, oh my God, may timer. May grade pa to. Yes, thank you so much po sa mga sumagot. Next. So, Ang year five po ay pwede kayo magpa-certify. Pwede, uh, sobrang ganda po niya. Makakakuha po kayong certificate, tapos bibigyan po nila kayo ng badge na kayo po ay isang year five certified educator. Kung alam niyo po yung Apple Distinguished Educator, parang ganun din po yun. Ibig sabihin, kayo po ay hustler, master po kayo sa year five. So you have to go to their website and check niyo po doon or search niyo po um, how to apply for year five certified educator. Hmm. Ngayon, um, pwede rin po kayong mag-play ng video. Pwede yung video nyo po ay i-play nyo lang sa inyo, manunood yung bata, or pwede pong sa lahat ng devices. This time, yung, uh, yung device ko na lang. So, play nyo po yung video dyan, kung ano po yung gusto ninyong gawin. And then, yan, great learnings. Hello, Ma'am Jen. <laughs> Thank you po. And adaptivity, sobrang dami po. I'm gonna show you some of the newest add-ons dito. Move na po tayo. Um, ito, ah, sobrang, sobrang cute nito. Wait lang. Um, papakita ko lang po yung mga bago. Example po ay ito. Um, pwede kayong, lang po ah, pasensya na po dun sa mga inalisan ko kanina dun. So, ito ay isa sa mga downloaded ko. So, pwede po kayo diyang magpagawa ng activity, balancing of reactions. Di ba po? Ganda. Um, yan po yung example niyan. Pwede kayo magpa-poll. And then, balik po tayo dun sa kanina natin. Sino ba yun? Live lesson. Bumabalik lang po ako kasi pang science kanina. Um, feeling ko nagka... Ay, wrong. Wait lang po ah. Yes. Mali pala ako nang napindot. So, balik po tayo dito kay nearpad natin. Okay? So, ah, saan na ba? Okay. Matching pairs ng math. Pwede rin po tong English. Halimbawa, ang gagawin niyo po doon, yung isang word ay yung word lang and then you have the definition and then the students will do that. Magma-matching pairs po sila. Okay? Yan po yung isa sa mga pwede ninyong gawin dyan. Marami po kang pwede. Ayan, vocabulary. Yun po yung ibig ko sabihin. And then the students will work on that. At real time po, na-observe nyo lahat ng bata. So may kita mo, ay, si Juan de la Cruz walang ginagawa to. Hindi gumagana yung matching pairs na pwede nyo po siyang sabihin agad sa inyong um, lesson. <clears throat> uh, next, pwede po kayo magpa-open-ended um, magpa-open-ended. So, example, how else can we use pairs in the classroom um, setting? So, papanin, depende po yun sa inyo kung gano'n kayo ka-creative on how you are going to use Nearpad sa inyong presentation. So, lalabas po yung lahat ngayon dito. Tapos, dito ngayon, yung mga, pwede, pwede nyo pong i-controlling yan. Now that I have given a couple examples of matching pairs, ayan, example, merong nagbigay ng sagot, Problem solving charbalu, sabi ni Ma'am March. Correct, di ba? Kunyari, meron ka doon isa, hanapin mo yung sagot na ito. Pwede po yung ganun. Okay? Yun po yung, ito po yung isang way, pwede mong kontrolin. Para kasi yung ibang estudyante, mga ano, mga tripper, kung ano-ano lang ipopost muna, at least ma ma-approve mo muna. Para alam nila kung sino lang yung gusto mo. Okay? Thank you, Ma'am March. Super supportive. Ayan. Tapos, pwede ka magpa-quiz. And then, ito naman po, ang maganda dito, lahat-lahat po kayo may ganyan, no? Tignan nyo. Let's say, sabihin ko, oh, sige, class, i-graph ninyo yung binagay kong activity sa inyo. May kita nyo po, kung may kita nyo po ngayon, lahat nung bawat estudyanteng nandyan, try nyo po mag-drawing, lahat po nung estudyanteng nandyan, 
may kita niyo po ngayon yung progress. Yan, may kita niyo po yung progress nila at nagagawa po sila ng kanilang graph. So, let's say, pie graph, I want you to give me a pie graph or a bar graph, a line graph, kahit ano po, pwede. May kita niyo dyan. So, real-time feedback, sabihin mo kay mamalu, mamalu, ano na naman to, mali yan. Ganun po. Ganun po yung paggawa yan. So, pwede siyang math, pwede rin siyang arts. So, yung friend ko po na si Nori, pwede po siyang magpa-arts dito, magpa-painting ng real-time, nakikita niya kung ano yung gusto niya pong mangyari. And then, punta po ngayon tayo sa English teachers. Kung gusto niyo pong magpa-highlight, o kanyari, magpapaklose reading kayo, o everyone class, I want you to read this. Um, let's say, I want you to circle the words that you don't know or the vocabulary that you don't know. Underline the words that you know or which are familiar to you. Or highlight in color yellow the, yes, pwede pong magpapanit square, sir. Or highlight in yellow the topic sentences for every paragraph. English teachers, you can use Nearpod. It's not only for science teachers. It's not only for math teachers. It's not only for arts teachers. It's for everyone. It depends on how creative you are. Move na po tayo. Again, there's another collaboration, collaboration board. Um, di na po natin papasagutin yun sa lahat. And then, um, okay, madali na yung ituro later. Return. So, ayan, ito po yung kung gusto niyo po maging NIRPAD Certified Educator, pwede po kayo mag-apply. Bibigyan po nila kayo ng ganitong badge. So, sa email ninyo, o oh, ba meron kang Genesis Agawili, Olympia High School, tapos lagay mo dun yung badge mo. NIRPAD, NIRPAD Certified Educator ka. So, bagong, meron po kayong certificate, meron din po kayong ganyan. Siyempre, huwag naman po kayong mandaya, download lang kayo ng apps na naman. So, ipapost ko po itong presentation ko sa inyo. That's, this um, presentation po ay inedit ko from Orange County Public Schools. So, we are finished with that. Um, Pakit na ko lang po yung mga bago sa Nearpad. Sobrang ganda po. Sobrang ganda po ng mga bago ngayon sa Nearpad. Sir Chabinog, of course, pwede to sa ICT. Palumpalo po to, sir. Um, let's say, gusto kong i-edit to. Um, idudup, ah, yan po, i-duplicate nyo siya. I-duplicate nyo po yung in-edit ninyo. Kasi kapag in-edit nyo po siya on the, on the paper, on the near pad itself, yung buong mundo po yung makakakawa ng in-edit ninyo. Diba? Baka, eh, gusto natin gawing pang atin lang yon or pang klase nyo lang. So, example po, papakita ko po sa inyo, ito po yung additional activities na pwede nyo gawin sa inyong mga bata. Sobrang ganda po na vocabulary video. So, the students will watch a video para po siyang flip grid, flip classroom, na makikita po agad nila. Live stream, um, Twitter live stream. So, eh, ayan po yung iba-ibang pwede nyo gawin and other activities na pwedeng ipagawa. Yung time to climb po, sobrang bet po yun ng mga sadyante ko kahit senior high school na sila. Kasi, ano po yan, para po siyang, alam niyo po, kung alam niyo po yung kahoot, para siyang kahoot within your presentation, there are different questions, click ko na nga lang, nakakaasar naman. So, there are different questions, tapos may kita niyo po yung, gagawa pa kayo ng questions dyan, tapos in real time, may kita nung bata, kapag sumasagot po sila, Umaakit po sila. Sino mauunang dumating dun sa uh, mountain top? So, ang cute. Ang cute. Promise. Um, okay. I think that will be all for Nearpad. Please, um, kung kinukulang po ako ng mga nasi-share, um, ang, dami, ang dami ko pa kasi pong gusto kong share sa inyo. Baka, baka po saraduhan na ako dito sa aking webinar. <laughs> Pakila, pakilaro po si Nearpad. Next. Next po, we have defined STEM. I think most of us ay ginagamit na to now. Just a disclaimer. Again, hindi porket sinabi kong defined STEM, it's only for science, technology, engineering, and math. English teachers can use this. Um, history, AP, araling pali po ng teachers can use this. And kahit sino po, 
pwede niyo pong gamitin si Define STEM. So, what is the framework of Define STEM? Um, sabi natin kanina, real life learning, lifelong learning. So, dito po yung gagana. Para po siyang PBS. Um, it follows the grass model. They will create a product. So, this time, medyo puro online or digital product, and then understanding skills and competencies. Also, what's good about Define STEM is they also have certified educator badge. So you just have to apply, and then um, once applied, and then um, nakuha mo yung mastery level na kailangan to use Define STEM. They will give you a certification na you undergo the training for Define STEM. It's online, and then they will give you a badge na pwede mo rin ilagay dun sa inyong pangalan. So, let's have a sample ng defined stem. Wow. Wait lang po ah. Medyo, ayan. So, punta tayo kay defined stem. Define. Um, pag sinearch nyo po siya sa internet, madali lang naman po siyang makita. Um, again, there are three things. Wait lang. Ilalag out ko lang tong akin. Ano pa mag-log out? Uh, wait, so how about going to Google first? Wait lang po ah. So if you type nyo dun yung defined learning or defined STEM, pareho lang po yan. Gusto ko muna makita yung interface. Gusto ko po muna makita ninyo yung interface niya. So again, this is project base. Um para maging relevant, makita nila yung relevance ng mga tinuturo niya. Pwede siyang gawin yung project at the end of every quarter. So, how are you going to do this? You have to log in. So, pwede kayong new user. Or sa students, i-click nila yung access code. They're going to type the access code here. And then they will register. And then they can start doing your project. So, how are you going to do that? Teachers, kayo na lang po yung mag-register. Gawa lang po kayo ng registration. Madali lang naman po siyang sundan. I think. And then, this is what you have inside. Again, you have math, science, social studies, language arts, and even careers. So, sa mga guidance advocates, we can use this. Again, it's not only for senior high school, high school, middle school, um, Pre-K to 12, grade 2, grade 3, grade 5, grade 6 can use defined learning. It depends on the availability. Kung, gusto, kung kayo po ay printed handouts, pwede rin po siyang gamitin. Okay? Um, sa amin, may district projects kasi, again, under po siya ng district na gagamit ko. Pero it's free. Again, lahat po ito free. So, let's have a sample. Let's say you want to make a project for your students ng sa, sa, sa science, to tayo, social studies. Okay, so under what topic, let's say you want to work them to work on history and then grade uh, two yung gusto mo, yung studyante mo. So, kung may mga elementary teachers mo dyan, pwede nyo rin po itong gamitin. Now, hindi kailangan online, pwede nyo siyang i-print, i-photocopy, and then ipapadala sa mga students. Hindi ko pa lang kung ganun ba yung gagawin dun sa mga students na walang internet. So, pakita ko po muna. Let's say, for example, um, family culture, yung papagawa mo. So, may kita nyo ngayon dito yung um, yung buong itsura ng inyong project. So, Pwede mo na siyang kopyahin as is. Okay? Pwede na po siyang ganyan. Or, since marami po tayong time, pwede nyo pong baguhin. So, um, punta nyo po muna yan, isa-isahin nyo po ano po yung mga gusto nyo dyan. So, ito yung uh, model. And then, ito po yung iba't ibang product na pwede nilang gawin. Illustration, brochure, scrapbook, research map, inter interview, um, journal prompt. Ayan po yung mga pwedeng gawin ng studyante. Ito po yung mga i-research nila, the topics, may videos ka dyan. Um, ito po yung mga resources na pwede lang puntahan in order for them at least to comply to the standards na isiset nyo po. So, kumbaga, pwedeng wala, actually pwedeng walang research resources, pero syempre, ano na nga tayo eh, remote learning, you have to give the students kung ano ba talaga yung gusto mo, hindi yung 
Okay, meron akong defined learning activity for you. O sa inyo. Gawin niyo yan. Tapos upo ka na. Tapos kain-kain ka na dyan ng halo-halo. <laughs> yan. Tapos, meron ka mga research questions na gusto mong sagutan nila habang ginagawa yan. Depende sa activity. So, ganun po kaganda si defined learning. Kasi, individualized. Kung ano po yung gusto ng bata. Let's say, ako yung bata na more on arts. I'm doing science, pero inclined ako sa arts. Diba sabi ko po sa inyo, kailangan yung uh, mga uh, interest ng bata yung kukunin mo. Okay? Interview and all of that. Design process, product creation. So, ito pa yung parang summary pa paano nila pwedeng gawin yung project nila. Final reflection. Siyempre, kailangan mo ng final reflection from the students if they learn something from that. Kasi at the end of the day, this thing should matter. This thing should matter. And then finish. Now, paano niyo po siya pwedeng baguhin? So, click on customize. Ito po, let's say, ah, ayokong ibigay yung scrapbook sa bata kasi hindi ko naman makukuha, makukolekta. So, i-off mo na siya. And then, continue. Pwede ka diyang mag-add mag, mag pa po. Um, and then, you can change the introduction. Kung gusto niyo siyang gawing Filipino, gawin niyo siyang Filipino, Ilocano, Cebuano, um, ano pa ba, Bicolano, Kasi, di ba, meron sa, alam ko sa elementary area, meron tayong mother tongue. You can do that. Okay? You can actually remove some. Ayaw, ayaw mo itong question to, remove. Gusto ko ng iba. You have the freedom to do that. Tapos, basta po, edit lang, edit. And then, once you're finished, let's say, let's go to the student check aims, skills and standards. Ah, wait. Meron akong gusto ng ipakita. Huh? Yan. So, kung gusto mo siyang i-share sa students ninyo, pwede siyang directly to students, i-email niyo sa kanila, or isa-send niyo na lang po yung link. So, Google Classroom assess, uh, Assignment Link, copy that link, paste in your Google Classroom, and your students can do that. Again, kinder to college, pwede siyang gawin across um, subject matters. Ganun kaganda si Defined Learning. And then, what is good about here, kapag online siyang ginawa ng studyante po ninyo, you can see here yung mga students na inasign nyo. Let's say, lalabas dyan, 10 students, ilan na yung nakakomplete, o ilan yung gumagawa, ilan yung nakasubmit. So, again, this is feedbacking to our students. So, you can message them, hey, I saw in Defined Learning you didn't even started with anything, or um, the deadline is approaching, but then... You haven't finished 70% of the work. You have to do something about that or do you need extra time? Something like that. So, feedbacking, check. Um, giving students um, more time to do it, check. Uh, giving students those with special needs, check. Individualize, check. And uh, localize, check. Diba? Pwede niyo pong baguhin yung language. I thank you, Ma'am Maria Lea San Mateo. So, balik lang po tayo sa project overview. Again, kung kayo po ay hindi mag um, online learning, these are the options that you can do. You can export this one as PDF, so printed as is, and then give it to your students, print that. Or pwede mo siyang gawing export as document, and then you can email this to your PLC or learning action cells and then share to your teachers. Bala na sila, paano nila ilolocalize, depende dun sa estudyante nila. Yep. So that is defined STEM. Wait lang po, inom lang ako. Malapit na po ako matapos. Saglit lang po. Next. Is, sabi natin, we have to be connected with the triangulate of education. You, with other fellow teachers, students, parents, administrators, and other support staff. So, minsan, kapag teacher ka, ayaw mo naman laging nagre-ring yung cellphone mo. Tatawagan ka nung nanay. Ma'am, ano po ba ganito po? Kaya tatawagan ka ng estudyante. Hello, pose. Ganyan, diba? Parang ayaw naman natin ganun. So, I have an answer for you. I told you you have to you have to build strong connection with your parents, especially in this moment. 
So, pasensya na ito, medyo ang haba ko. Remind up. Kung meron na po kayo nito, good. Kung wala pa po kayo nito, panoorin nyo siya. Remind is a teacher's text reminder given to students and parents a reason to check their phones. So, para po siyang mag email kayo pero mas mabilis nilang marireceive. But then you have to download the app. It is available in, para po nilang marireceive yung messages as text message. So, it's good for parents that they have the Remind app. It's good for students to have the Remind app. And pwede rin po kayong magkaroon within your group. So, learning action cells. I, I will show you how this one works. And then, connect with students, parents, faculty, and administration. So, maganda talaga in this moment na we are, we are all in this together. So, Remind is a safe way for teachers to text, message students, and stay in touch with parents for free without them knowing your personal number, personal email, because that's your personal life. Iba na yun. Iba. So, this is how it looks like. Ayan po yung iba't ibang, dito po sa self, pamigit nyo dyan yung iba't ibang Parang chika siya, Miss March. Ayan. So, meron ka dyang create class. Ayan yung iba't ibang class na meron yung bata. Ito po yung sa bata na form, na area. Ito po yung mga messages ni Mr. Salvador sa kanya na hindi alam ng bata yung number ni Mr. Salvador. Now, kapag nag-start po kayo ng online learning, you can send a, a letter to the parents telling them about the Remind app para ida-download ni parents sa cellphone nila to makakausap mo si parents. Paano niyo po gagawin yan? Let me share how to do that. Parang GC. Yes, Ma'am Jane. Thank you po, Ma'am Lara. So, um, wait. So, gagawa lang kayo ng, gawa po kayo ng inyong account. Ayoko na po siyang in Actually, pwede mo, pwede mo na ako mag-sign out. Sige, mag-log out na lang ako. So, si student, or kayo po, log in kayo, ayan po yung aking, ayan, hindi ko naman kasi matandaan yung aking password. Ayan, tama, ayan, di ba, mali. Wait lang po, ah, mag-log in lang po ako. Ayan, so pag nakapag-log in na kayo, nakapaggawa na po kayo ng... Ma Miss March, hindi nyo po hihingin yung number nila. Ganito po ang gagawin natin. Gagawa kayo ng class. Let's say, Castinas Science High School or Senior High School. Ayan po yung class code. Let's say, Physics 1, Subject, Class 1. Yus yung school, lagay niyo po doon, not affiliated with the school kasi yung akin po ay nasa Orange County Public Schools. Or kung hindi ko lang alam doon sa inyo, kapag libre po to, pag nilagay niyo yun dyan is pwede niyo ilagay yung pangalan ng, ng yes ma'am Josephine Tapiador, pwede po siyang i-download. Downloadable po talaga siya, pang cellphone po talaga siya. Tapos create, bibigay mo po yung class code sa bata. So kapag gumawa po, kayo nitong letter na to, when you have this letter, bigay nyo po yung code. Ngayon, parents, you have this code. Students, you have this code. Para at least hiwalay. Para kapag pasok nila doon, alam na agad nila, okay, si parents, may i-inform mo si parents. Tapos si students, inform mo si students. Ang medyo downside lang nito ay hanggang 150 per classroom. So let's say, A to L, parents, meron kang code, and M to Z na parents, meron kang code. Or depende po pa paano nyo gustong hatiin yung um, code ng mga student niyo. Pero that's how it works. Now, let me um, show you some of the things or highlight some of the things here. Ma'am ma Marge, yung code, kung gusto mong pumasok, ito siya. Ayan yung code. CGC B64. So, mapapasok po kayo dun sa group na yan. So, dito lalabas yung mga messages. Kunyari, pwede kayo dyang magawa na, yan na, meron na siya actually dyan. I'm looking forward to using Remind to share updates, notes, and more. Thanks for joining. And then, pwede mong ipasok si Google Classroom, ganyan, ganyan, papunta dito. And then, send. Or pwede kang gumawa ng sarili mo. Parang, pwede po kayo mag-ilokano. Ah, ano ba? Para mag-ilokano. Basta. 
<laughs> Pwede po kayo magtagalog. Kum- kumusta kayong lahat? Ako po ang uh, ako si uh, Ginoong ganyan ganyan. Tapos send. Tapos lahat ng files pwede niyo rin po itong ilagay para at least merong laging babalikan yung mga estudyante. Dito pa labas yung mga tao. So ano yung code? Okay na yan. Ilang maximum walang maximum message na pwedeng i-sensor. And then these are the settings. So ayan po yung kai remind. Yung katod sa amin, so uli, ito po yung sa amin, siya po yung principal namin, siya yung gumawa niyan. So lahat ng mga gusto niyang sabihin sa amin, kapag wala siya, kapag nagmamadali po siya, dito na lang po niya sa remind nila lagay. Okay? Okay, next. I think I'm almost done. Next po is, sobrang favorite ko to. Feeling ko magugustuhan niyo po itong lahat. Ang tawag po ito ay WISE. WISE is termed as web-based inquiry, science, environment. This is, wait lang po, abasahin ko lang to. Kami na din yung gagawa ng code. Para yes, sir, Chabinog. Kayo po yung gagawa ng code. You have to give it to students. Depende po. Let's say ICT1 or Robotics1, this is your code. Or Physics1, this is your code. Doon kasi sa unang pag-create. Uh, Doon sa pag-create po, wala po kayong pang-student yon yung ilalagay niyo yung code para maka-join sila. Pero kayo po, register po yung lalagay niyo dun, sir. Huwag po kayo maglalagay ng code. Kayo po yung mag- i-click niyo na lang agad yung register. Anyway, so WISE is funded by NSF. Pa- paano mag sa Ginoy na nag-group? Um, wala naman to si Marge? Char. So dito, leave class. Punta kayo sa information and then leave class. Okay. Balik na lang po ako. Balik na po ako kay Wise. So, ito po, yung hinuli ko kasi super favorite ko siya. I believe, ito yung medyo higher version ni Nearpad. Kasi dito, para kayong gagawa ng strategic intervention material and isa pa doon, sobrang modular ng approach. So, yung mga ginagawa ninyong modules online, oh my God, kung kaya nyo siyang ipasok dito, please do so. Sobrang ganda po. Okay? So, WISE is funded by Chabinog. Pero mo si Pang... Sir, walang science, science. Kahit sino. Sir, Medina, pwede siya sa laptop. So, WISE is uh, funded by NSF, National Science Foundation, and through the help of um, University of California, Berkeley, Yes, Ma'am Jane, para siyang class mojo. So, WISE stands for Web-Based Increase Science Education. Using WISE, it was possible to carefully control instructional delivery. So, yung nakita ko kasi, and, kaya ko ito naisip i-share kasi nakita ko ang daming teachers na gumagawa ng modules. Instead of having your modules as plain modules lang, why not transfer that into WISE module? Panalo kayo sa admin nyo, panalo kayo sa head ninyo, panalo kayo sa mga bata at parents. Mamahalin nila kayo. Reflection prompts and visual stimulus. So, WISE supports research on student learning and design of curriculum materials. WISE materials are free. This is open source, available in seven different languages. Meaning, meron na po tong mga gawa na rin na activities and modules. Ma'am Josephine Tapiador, no. Pwede po kayong gumawa kahit ano kasi you can start from scratch or kung gusto nyo po, pwede kayong mag-check doon. Papakita ko po sa inyo mamaya. And used in numerous countries around the world, authoring WISE so you can make your own WISE or you can download pre-done na WISE. Hindi ko alam sa yung Kotobi, Sir Chabino. Um, authoring WISE curriculum in a language other than English requires no additional effort on the part of the author, especially if you are going to use this kinder teachers or elementary teachers, you can also use this, okay? Pwede actually, I am looking forward na may gagawa ng WISE, tapos pambata na Tagalog, kasi wala dong Tagalog or Filipino. Ma'am, makikita nyo mama yung website. So, ang ganda. Testimonya, sabi ni ma'am, gusto mo siya to, utilize niya to as a teacher kasi habang ginagawa mo siya, instead of having, doing it in document, you have the module, WISE module. Ang ganda po, promise. So, ang WISE ginagamit sa Taiwan, ayan po itsura niya. 
di ba? Ang ganda. So kung meron ta kung kung mag-start po kayong gumawa ng Wise of Philippines, that's super nice for the Philippines to do this. So, getting started. First, you have to make your own account just like every um the other account. Then you have to read the students should should register using the link. So, it's okay na walang account si estudyante, just give them the link. Okay na po yun sa kanila. Pero si teacher, kailangan mag-register kasi gagawa ka ng module or kakopy ka ng module from other teachers. How you are going to do that, go to the WISE website. Ito po yung website ni WISE. wise.berkeley.edu Yan. So kapag nakopy niyo siya, punta niyo po, gawa kayo ng teacher account Email nyo po. Ayan kasi yung email na ginagamit ko sa district namin. Yeah. Hindi ko po alam ko to be, pero siguro po. And then, you have your teacher account here. And then, promise po, sobrang bet nitong WISE. Antayin nyo po yung papakita ko sa inyo. And then, sign in na kayo. Using a WISE unit. So, papakita ko po sa inyo yung paano po gumawa ng isang unit ng WISE. So, punta tayo kay Wise. Ay, ayan, di ba? Hindi na siya gumana. Wait lang. So, kailangan ko mag-log. Ano po may natututunan po kayo, no? Ano ba nangyari? Wait lang, nawala yung sharing. Wait lang po. Um, share screen, entire screen, share. Ang oh, bakit na wala? Wise. Dot. Wait lang po. Berkeley. Dot. Yan. So, kapag nandyan na po kayo kay Wise, hindi po yung makikita ninyo. You have to either register or you have to sign in. So, let's, I will register po. Sana matatandaan ko pa yung registration ko. I actually hindi yung registration ko. Wait lang po, ah, hindi ko matandaan yung registration. Then, yun sa gawin. Then, see, Julie, sa gawin. Ang sinasign in ko po ay yung teacher. So, ito yung may kita ninyo kay teacher. Pwede po kayo mag-browse ng WISE. So, 6th grader, 7th, 8th, high school, and assessment pwede. O, hindi ako na-inform doon. Di ba? Pwede po siya sa 6th grader. Ganun siya ka-all around. Um, pero, usually itong mga nandito is sciences. So, kapag kayo po ay English, pag kayo po ay math, You have to do it on your own. Pero yung mga science teachers, kasi sa National Science Foundation po kasi yung um, provider ng, ng yung, yung funding. So, so download lang kayo dyan. Um, ito yung ibang, ito po yung gawa ng mga teachers in USA. Uh, pwede kinyo lang siyang i-open, tapos use with your class. Okay? Pwede pong ganun. Or, ito yung gusto kong ipakita sa inyo. Um, ito yata yung isang sample. Ipipreview ko lang. Wait lang. Hindi. Gusto kong ipakita sa inyo. Pwede kayong gumawa. Authoring tool. So, pag pumunta kayo kay authoring tool, kunyari gumagawa ka ng unit, ito yung mga units na ginagawa mo. Ito yung kumbaga yung iba't ibang chapters ng modules na ginagawa mo. Pag nag-add po kayo, create unit, let's say, um, ano ba? Scientific method. Sorry po kung pang science. Scientific method. Tapos click mo lang yung check. So, nandito na ngayon si scientific method unit. Pero out ka muna. So, may kita mo ngayon dyan. Scientific method, introduction to science. Pwede nyo po siyang i-move pataas or pababa. So, click mo lang. Wait lang. Cancel. So, uh, paano ko ba siya ibababa? Nalimutin. 
ako na tuloy. Anyway, mamaya, makikita natin yan. Sure. And dahil lang po ah. Example, nandito ako na introduction to science. Under introduction to science, let's say, ang first, chop, ang first chapter mo sa unit ng introduction to science ay science process skills. So, what you can do, lagay mo dyan, lesson one, skills in science. Get out, and then first chapter. You have your introduction here. And then, ang maganda dito po, pwede kayong maglagay ng iba't ibang activities. Wait lang, sana matulog ko siya ng mabuti. So, naggawa ka ng introduction dyan. If you can see this one po, add new component. These are the things that you want your students to do. Example, um, nag-add as new component ako. What are the things that you can put here? You can put an animation dun sa introduction. So, i-picture out niyo po yung parang document. Andyan yung title. Andi yung introduction. Meron kang video or animation nung tungkol dun sa topic. Meron kang table na gusto yung paggawa sa kanila. Concept map, matching words, multiple choice, discussion board. Pwede yun. Kung gusto mo agad na meron kang question, let's let's use this one, discussion, and then insert as first component. Okay? So kapag nandyan ngayon si, um, si first component, ito yung student view. So may kita mo agad kung ano itsura niya dun sa inyong module. So ilagay mo ngayon dito, let's say, um, let's say, what are the skills a science students are expected from. Ngayon, yun yung po yung lalabas ngayon dito. What are the skills science students are expected from? Si estudyante ngayon, pag nagpunta sila kay WISE module ninyo, itatype po niya dun yung answer niya and then post. Hindi po yun may kita ng ibang estudyante. What I like about this one is that kapag ginawa mo po yan, i-click niyo po yung notebook setting i-drag nyo po yung note kasi pwede nyo po siya i-close and i-open. Pag sinabi po natin student notebook, para po ngayon yung estudyante, habang nag answer siya ng module, ang, hir ang hirap ipakit, ang hirap explain eh, pero pag nakita nyo po yung sa student review later, papakita ko po sa inyo, ma-appreciate nyo po si Wise. Medyo kakaiba lang yung itsura nyo, na, yung itsura nyo po dito. So example, ayan na siya, student notebook, notebook label. So let's say, um, skills in science. Okay. Babalik ka ngayon kay WISE, dun sa yung module. So, ibig sabihin nun, kapag sinagotan siya ni estudyante, meron po kayo ditong notebook. I'll show you. Okay. So, ito na siya, ba? What are the skills... So, di sasagot si bata. Let's say, um, patience is a virtue. Yan, yan, yan. Tapos, ipopost niya po yan. Pwede po yan ngayon, kung may kita niyo po yung final report, at the end of the activity, lahat po ng isinagot ng bata sa lahat ng question niya, magiging isang buong um, notebook siya. Values education, pwede po. Magiging isang buong notebook siya ng lahat ng mga answers niya. So, kumbaga, natuto na siya, may compilation pa siya ng notes. And, andito pa yung, um, ito naman po, yung notes na parang uh, mga jot down notes during the discussion. Like, parang, uy, wait lang, this is something, kunyari, nabasa po niya dito. Um, sci uh, science high skills are defined as set of broadly transferable abilities. Kidnapi niya. So, uy, wait lang, parang important kung bagay na to. Save niya ngayon doon. Ibig sabihin, you find or that student find that term important. Pwede po siya sa primary grades, ma'am, pero parang sa grade 6 po siya mag-start kasi mahirapan naman po mag-move-move yung bata. Pero depende po yan kung paano ninyo paglalaruan yung mga skills na pwedeng gawin. So let me show you po paano yung itsura niya kapag kayo po ay isang student. Okay. Magsa-sign in po ako as a student. Yan. So, example po, ito po yung binigay sa akin ng teacher ko. So, ilo-launch ko siya. 
pwede siyang gawin with a team. So, yun nga po, at the end, papakita ko po siya later, pwede mo siyang gawing individualized module. The students the students can do it alone. So, marami kang options. Or the student have the options to do that. And then, lunch unit. Nasa student view na po tayo ngayon. Let's say, nagawa mo na ng todo-todo yung WISE mo. Kasi gusto ko pong makita ninyo ano, gano'ng kaganda si WISE. Parang ang pangat kasi nung presentation ko. Ito po example ng isang ng isang module. Let's say, this is this is about um, dengue. So, meron ka dyan pwedeng ilagay na ganyan. I-download nyo lang po yung mga icon na ganyan. And then, every time na meron pong makikita, ito po, use your notebook. Ito pong icon na to is for the notebook. Ito po, may kita nyo po dun sa baba. When you see this plus icon, that means you can click on the picture and add them on the notebook as well. Lastly, at the end, they can create a report. Yun nga po yung sabi ko sa inyo na isang buong... Um, parang isang buong um, lecture notes na yung mabubuo ng student once na matapos na siya. So ito pa, pakita ko lang sa inyo kung gano'ng kadami yung modules na ginawa namin. So, but this is about dengue. So let's say for example, oh, manunod yung bata. Nanood siya ng video. You can embed any videos here. And then, after that, again, pag may ganyan po, add nyo po yan, click nyo po siya, and then save. Go to your notebook. The student can always go back here. These are the notes of the student. So, nag-aaral yung bata ng module, mababalik ka yung important terms na sa tingin nyo at sa tingin niya ay important for his learning or for her learning. And then, let's say you have one question here. When you are presented with a sentence starter such as blah, 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 Example, dengue fever is black. So, si bata ngayon, the type niya, dengue fever is a mosquito-borne viral disease. When the, that student add that one to the notebook, maisi-save niya, pagdating dito sa notebook niya po, teachers, dyan niya po may kita lahat ng important terms, lahat ng important um, information na dapat niyang matutunan during the course or during the module. So, example po, ayan. So, kumbaga, they are doing the module. They are undergoing the module, like answering the module. At the same time, they are having a notebook. And at the end, they can print all of this important information. Depende po yun pa paano nyo papagandahin yung module ninyo. And then, example yan. And then, Paano nyo, paano nyo siya i-design based on your students. So, gano, pwede rin po kayo itong maglagay ng FET simulation, pwede kayo magpa-simulation ng math, ng science, ng kahit na ano. Kung gusto nyo po siyang gawing edukasyong pagpapahalaga, mag-post kayo ng video dyan, tapos may mga sasagutan sila. Tapos, ilalagay lahat nila sa notebook nila, download everything from the notebook, and then that will be their notes, and then they answer the questions. Two birds at the same time. They answered your module, they have the important information from the notes, and then, ganun po yung mga yan. So, that one po is for whys. Now, medyo pa end naman na po tayo. So, lastly, so, bilang teacher, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, I know that um, you want more. So, I'm gonna share you more of the things. It, pero last na po to, wala na po ba pakit ng mga kung ano-ano pong pupuntahan ninyo. So, meron pa akong um, Google document kung gusto nyo lang naman po makakuha ng mga activities. Pero mostly this are for science research teachers. Just um, scan that one. Marami po yan. Ito po yung mga makikita ninyo sa kanilang uh, laman-laman. Marami po yan. May mga exams, may mga review questions. Bahala po kayo pa paano nyo siya gustong gawin. May test bank po dyan. Yes, ma'am. At then, nakasave lahat. Ma'am Nerisa, thank you po. And then, teachers, ito po. Um, meron pong isang group ng mga teachers dito sa USA na kinonsolidate lahat ng interactive materials. Lahat ng hindi ko naturo. Um, pwede nyo siya puntahan. Tingnan nyo po. Ito yung company. Ito yung 
ito yung name. Dito, ito yung website kung saan nyo siya pwede punta. Ito yung description. So, check ano yung magmamatch dun sa kagustuhan ninyo. Kung hindi pa po kayo natuwa dun sa nearpad, sa remind, sa wise, or kahit ano po, baka dito po may makita po kayo yung something na maganda sa inyo or masishare ninyo. Go over this. Andiyan po yung description. Andito po yung services na they offer. Example, si 1 to 3 Homeschool for me, they offer free worksheets and activities. Just um, get this one po. And then, they also have these resources from grade 1s to grade 12 student. Just scan that one. So, pag clinic niyan, maraming resources. I cannot um veto if they are the best it's based on your judgment kung gusto niyo po siyang gamitin kaya po yung bahala okay hindi ko po sinabi na porket nandiyan siya sobrang bet siya or wala po kasi nagche-check basta teachers are sharing everything there if you wanted to share too you can do so so please lang ang pakiusap ko lang po please credit the people behind all those all, all those work. Huwag nyo naman po sanang pwede nyo po dong ilagay yung pangalan nyo prepared by you and then at least i-credit nyo po parang, parang uh, I follow this, the format from this teacher, whatever, at the end. Para, kasi baka tuwan-tuwa yung principal nyo sa inyo, tapos, diba? At least you are true to yourself. So, thank you very much po. To get a copy of this presentation, please follow the link provided below. Answer the survey Yan po yung survey natin, gg.gg slash edutrends, or you can scan the link here, or I don't know, the QR code. If you have any questions or meron po kayong gusto i-clarify, you can email me here, or follow me in my social media account, Instagram, DNA underscore scenes underscore 99. Uh, to end everything, I just want to say that the most successful schools and classrooms feel like home. Um, it doesn't matter if you are in a physical classroom or in an online classroom. It should be warm, inviting, where everyone matters. And don't just say everyone matters because that isn't enough. You have to reach out to those students who don't look like you, who don't act like you, or believe like you. You have to seek them out specifically and you will be glad you did that. Thank you so much, Po. If you have any questions, Sir Jolan, I'm finished. Hello, Po. Hello, Po, teachers. Thank you, Po. Grabe. Gra grabe yun, ah. Grabe, grabe, grabe Sir Genesis. Sagat, sagat. Maga na. Nalala. Wala pa akong tulog. Sabi ka. Oo. Oh, oh. Oh, thank you. Alam nyo po ba, um, teachers, parang 3 o'clock. Ano oras dyan, Sir Genesis? Alas 10 na ng umaga. <laughs> oh, alas 10 na ng umaga. Pero alam mo yung kasi iba yung time natin sa sa, sa US. Sa, sa, nasa Florida ka right today. Yeah. And then, nasa ano ko ngayon? Georgia. Nasa? Nasa Georgia. Oo nga eh. Alam mo yun, dapat ngayon yung alit. Dapat ngayon tayo makikita sa dyan eh. <laughs> Wala, hindi. Hindi na, hindi, oh, hindi na natuloy dahil sa sa pandemic. So, ayun. Alam mo, grabe yung mga comments dito. Kung makikita mo, Sir Genesis. Sabi dito, panalo tong webinar na to, one-stop shop for online-based instruction. Ay, salamat. Kasi grabe, todo-todo. Diba? Gumalingan na. Todo-todo. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> Oh, oh. So grabe. So thank you Sir Sir Genesis. May mga questions pa po ba mga um teachers kay Sir Genesis? Hindi lahat yung sinasabi ko sa inyo mga mga Grabe, no kung wala kayong questions. Kung wala kayong questions, um, we challenge everyone na kailangan talaga ready na kayo at magagamit niyo mga napanood niyo ngayon kay Sir Genesis ha. Tama ba Sir Genesis? Yes. So Dapat yung wala na kayo dun sa ano, wala na kayo sa depression doctor. Dapat hindi uh -oh. kayo, hindi ano na kayo. Hindi na kayo sa trying to experiment. Uh -oh. 
Sir Genesis, naririnig mo ba ako? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Kasi medyo mahina yung internet connection ko. Sorry kasi nag- hindi ako naka- medyo traffic. Nasa piyan. Ay. <laughs> kasi ako. Sorry, okay, sorry. Sir. Kaya naka-turn off yung camera ko. Sorry. Okay lang po. Mo, oh, oh, thank you. So, grabe, grabe yung mga yung mga ano ng teachers dito na nakita mo naman, di ba? So, so, wala po ba talaga tayong questions for, for Sir Genesis? Yes, Alam Lord. mo ba, bago kami mag-start, uh, ano pa, kinakabakabahan pa yung si Sir Genesis? Ay, wala ko lang. At pinapapawisan pa yan? Oo, oh, ay nag-ready pa man din ako. Oh. Ba't nakapantulog lang ako eh? share mo sa ating mga teacher sobrang laking tulong kasi sana na itong itong way na pagtulong natin sa mga teachers ay talagang magamit nila magamit nila sa sa pagtuturo this coming August so talaga so we challenge everyone also aside from the learning mode aside from the um, different websites and applications na gagamitin niyo we also challenge everyone to have their certification. Tama ba, Sir Jenny? Yes. Itry nyo po kung hindi nyo po kami yung proper certified educator na yun. At least try the mere oh, possible. Sorry. sorry, sorry. Kung, kung hindi pa kayo yung Google certified educator or Apple something, try the mere pad first. Tapos ako pa ako. Para maraming yung certification. Oo. Oh, oh, alam mo talagang Ano lang, unti-unti lang. Actually, you can start naman sa isang isang application lang na muna magpa-certify ka. Yeah. Like, tapos, as, as time goes by, sabi ko nga, ikaw rin, Sir Genesis, um, sobrang dami mong ano eh, you have a lot of evidences na you can use that for for application sa iba't ibang um, certification. Like, like sa Apple Distinguished Educator, sa ABA. Yeah. So you can, you. Yes, you can, you can, kasi you need evidences talaga. You really need evidences. Sorry, um, the Google Certified Educator, I also train the teachers to be Google Certified Educator sa school namin. I help them to be Google Certified Educator. So kailangan talaga medyo nagagamit yung application eh. Para at least um, yung madali na yung exam. Kasi uh, for for the information of, of other teachers, First year, yung Google Certified Educator naman, ano siya, three hours yung exam niya for you to, mm-hmm. to be certified and lahat ng Google Suites app. So, alam ko, alam niyo na yung iba, meron na kayong mga alam, lalo na ngayon, alam ko, nag-aaral na kayo ng Google Classroom, ng Google Forms, ng Google Docs, ng Google Slides. So, so lahat ng Google application kasama dun sa exam. So, sana, kung gagamitin natin siya at na-experience naman natin, and why not to, ano, to be Google Certified Educator, di ba? Yeah. So, I think you're using it, eh. So, ano pa ba? Edy, magpa-certify ka na. So, ayun. Correct. Um, Habang wala ko yung ginagawa. Yes. When it comes to, ano naman, to to Apple Distinguished Educator, so, medyo, medyo madugoan <laughs> lang si ADE kasi you really need to to show them um, evidences output based kasi yung application niya sir sir genesis um ano eh you, you need to prepare video presentation wherein you use the, the technology and how you use it paano ka rin naging advocate ng paggamit ng technology so sa or may integrate yung technology sa sa education yung mga ganung bagay and then and, um syempre uh, bonus na rin yung paggamit ng mga 
Apple applications or AD. Ewan ko, alam nyo, just keep on trying, teachers, just keep on trying yung mga certification natin. Ako, yeah. I applied. Kasi every, every... Oh, Pampaganda siya ng resume. Sorry? Pampaganda siya ng resume. Oo. Oh, oh. Diba? At saka aside from the refer, actually aside from the resume, syempre talagang ano, maganda siya. Pero alam mo, you will meet different um, teachers na nakikipag-collaborate sa inyo you know, when it comes to ano, integ- integrating um, use of technology inside a classroom, integrate technology in education. So, then the resources, yung mga na masishare mo rin sa webinar, so yung mga ganon, sobrang dami. Yeah. Just keep on trying. Ako, kasi ang AD, yung Apple Distinguished Educator, every two years siya, Sir, Sir, Sir Genesis. Ako, I applied last um, 2017 as Apple Distinguished Educator. But, um, Unfortunately, hindi ako natanggap. Pero keri lang. Try ulit. Oo, hindi ako natanggap. Pero pero keri lang. Hindi ako yeah. natanggap. Kasi every other year siya sabi ko, sige, try ko pa. So, after two years, 2019, last year, I got selected. I'm so happy. Alam mo, I got selected diba, sa ADE. Tapos, mm-hmm. apat lang kami sa Pilipinas. So, yeah. so yung mga then ng bagay ano mo you can start small para yung eh, basta kailangan nating mag, mag ano mag uh, mag ipon ng evidences correct so, simulan mo yung part oo yes so yun so, since wala naman ng question so Genesis maraming maraming salamat um, last last word of encouragement for all the teachers um especially ngayong darating na na ano OD OD na nakakamis na po sabihin kasi wala namang ganun dito sa America pero ginagawa po natin ito para sa bayan at para sa bata yes <laughs> kasi talaga ang mission natin ay para sa bata para sa ating mga students so, thank you sir Jenny C salamat alam ko na tulad ka at may at may <laughs> back at may ano ka pa mga gagawin ka pa sa buhay mo mamaya so, so, thank you so much bye bye thank you maraming maraming salamat and dahil in case edukasyong digital maraming salamat um, in behalf of Eduk Trends PH yay thank you, thank you. bye bye isa kang bayani dahil OFW walo ka dyan sa, sa, ano, sa Amerika Thank you, sir. Sa ano makasunod tayo. So maraming maraming salamat, sir. Genesis. Um, dahil wala na silang question at okay naman na tayo, huwag ka nang kabahan ha. Baka, baka kinakabahan ka pa. <laughs> May nagpapawisan siya. Thank you po sa lahat. PM Lock. Thank you. Salamat po. Maraming maraming salamat. So, Genesis, paalam. Bye-bye. 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 Ingat ka, ingat ka. Bye-bye. Hi, teachers. Um, ayan po ang ating link for today. So, ayan po yung link natin. I-try ko pong ilagay sa ating comment box. Medyo may internet connection lang. May internet problem lang po ako today. There po, nakapost na po. Salamat po. 